All right, it's your boy Jizo back with another video. And today, and today, one more time for you haters, and today. So we're going to talk about Gus Villa Jr. We're going to be responding to his five lies about Moisen Knight. Uh, and we're also going to respond to another YouTuber. Um, so make sure you like, share, subscribe, hit, hit the notification bell, leave a comment. Make sure you watch the ads all the way through, please and thank you. So let's get into the video, man. Let's get into this video. Um, so Gus Villa Jr. made a video about five lies about Moisen Knight. And I agree with him. 99% okay so the reason why it's 99% is because and it was a great video I'm gonna leave the link of the video down below and if you go watch it from my link just make sure you leave a comment and be like I seen this on Jesus page so I tapped in um okay so basically the only real thing because I'm not gonna go through all of it the only real thing is that Moisenite is not a real stone. Um, well, I guess technically it's not a real stone, but it, it is its own stone. Uh, so that's what he said. It, it's not its own stone. It is its own stone. It's definitely its own stone. Um, the origins of the Moisenite is a mystery. It is definitely a mystery. So now that part is it, it, just a mystery. So you know, and and another YouTuber responded. You guys know who this YouTuber are. If you follow me, he got the, you know, you know the guy, the troll. I call him a troll. Um, that guy said that Moisenite came for so. So this is where he's wrong. He's saying that Moisenite came from space, which I used to think that as well. I thought that as well. Um, but those are not the facts at all. Um. Those are not the facts because it's not one shown case where they tested a natural stone of Moisenite. So everything is synthetic. Yes, he was. If you seen people holding the so-called natural rock, uh, it's really not a natural rock, guys. It's a. It's just a rock. It's just an uncut. Uh, you know what I mean? It's uncut to make the Moisenite. It's all it is, man. So. These things, you know, uh, Moisenite or this, uh, 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 it is, this, the stone is used for more than making, uh, making jewelry. It's used in cars. It's used in like, uh, uh, a whole bunch of stuff. It, it is used for more than, uh, it's used in different industries, rather. So, so yeah that's what it's for uh so when people think that it came from space it's a myth that's definitely a myth so we don't know what the real origins of it because nobody no expert has gotten their hands on a natural stone ever no gemologist <laughs> you know there's no paperwork showing that it has been tested and none of that so we got that part out the way now let's get to the part about the GRA because Gus said the GRA certificates are garbage. Uh, and that wasn't his exact words, but that's what he said. Uh, the and, and he's right, man. He's right. <laughs> if you look at the Moisenite, um, if you look at the Moisenite uh, certificates, they're all made up. Uh, as many of them they all say something different, uh, so they all take you to different websites. You never get the same GRA, and a lot of people, uh, it's a selling point. So here's the thing, guys. Here's the thing. If you look up the address where the GRA company is registered, and like their address rather, it takes you to a place. I'm gonna leave that video where uh, 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 another YouTuber called. Or you can check out one of my old video, my uh, last videos that I made about it. They called the address and, and, and the number in the for the address and the number for the address is a Hilton in Manhattan, a Hilton in Manhattan. So the GRA certificates garbage, garbage, trash. You don't really need it. It was a great. So this is why I disagree. What Gus is that he said, he said he doesn't know why they made it, but I know exactly why they made it. It was a great marketing scam. Like, 
It's just a scam, man. It's just a scam, a scheme, a, a, a marketing tool, and it worked great. Now, uh, the other thing is about Moise Knight that if the number one seller is that it passes the diamond tester. That's the number one seller. A lot of people wouldn't buy Moise Knight if it wasn't for that diamond tester. So those are facts, man. Those those are all facts. Um, what else was said? What else was said? Moise Knight will take. He said that he Gus Villa said Moise Knight will take over. Uh, uh, the lie is that Moise Knight will take over. So th these were five lies, and one of the lies he said Moise Knight would take over from Diamond. Yeah, I agree with that. That that that's false as well. Because here's the problem. It wouldn't be false if, okay, hold on. So it's yes and no, actually, because here's the thing. Imagine if we could account for all the Moisenite sales. Yes, we can, we can account for the Moisenite sales in, from certain companies and this and that. But imagine if we could account for all the Moisenite sales. I'm pretty sure they sell more than diamonds. I'm pretty sure they sell billions of stones because we, we're not even talking about after they mass produce these things, how they ship them out from China. Shouts out to China. Um, that's an important place to get these things. Um, probably India as well, but China, uh, number one, China is number one. So if we go from China, right, if we, if we, if we could track all the more night sales ever, I'm pretty sure it blows diamond out the water. As far as sales. And I, I can say that Moisenite is a big part of a reason that the decline of diamond prices, if you watch the diamond price, they keep going down and down and down. So, yes, technically, no, it won't stop the diamond from being sold. But technically, it put a dent into the diamonds it, it plans. I, I, I'm not going to. It really, it really gave it a good punch, you know what I mean? So it went, it went, it went toe to toe with the diamond at this point. And, and we could actually might agree that technically it probably outsell the diamond and still do. But the problem with that is, here's the problem with this stuff is, guys. Um, the main problem with this stuff is, here's the main problem. The main problem is you have HP. HT diamonds, which are <laughs> you're gonna buy that over the Moisenite. Night. Me personally, yes, I still will buy Moisenite Night because I don't care. Uh, I like how Moisenite Night do so, but the majority of people are gonna take the diamond any day because a majority of people want to want people to know, want people to know that they have diamonds and they can afford it, or they want to look like money. Or say they got the money. So that's how that goes. So that part. Now let's get to the part where the imitation of the diamond. Okay. Yes, again, it does. The The average eye will say what? The average eye will say that the diamond in the morning night looks like. Yes, 100%. But the problem is. The Moisenite looks better. In my opinion, the Moisenite shines. I, I'm not, I'll take that back. Not looks better. I'll take that back. Not looks better. The Moisenite outshines the diamond. And we're going on a shine factor. The, if you're going for a shine factor, you'll pick the Moisenite. If you're going for a, a regular shine, you'll pick the diamond. If you want the best shine, you'll get a CZ. Let me say that again. If you want the brightest, the most colorful flares that you will see, you will pick the Moisenite. If you want the regular shine, you'll pick the Diamond. If you want the perfect shine, you'll pick the CZ. So, so that lets you know that everything is different, um, different stones. So, shouts out to Gus Villa. It was a great video. Had to respond to him and then before I could respond I seen somebody else post it well somebody sent me the video and it was somebody else responding so uh shots out to Gus Villa again uh and then the the other cat man 
Uh, yeah, you got to get your facts right. I know you thought that uh, Morzanite came from space, but it, it did. It actually is no proof of that. There's not one proof of that. There's no proof that a natural stone even exists. Nobody has tested natural Morzanite ever. So, yeah. And the GRA certificate is definitely trash. You might as well throw that away. Doesn't matter if your company has the GRA or not. And this is no shot to anybody. I'm just saying it doesn't matter at all. Even me. Like, I, I, I sell, I, I got some Moisey Knife for sale soon. Um, and you can buy Moisey Knife. I don't, like, man, I would tell you straight up. If you want it, I'll give it to you. I'll give you that certificate. But it doesn't mean a damn thing. Oh, before I forget, because I was about to end the video, the other thing that uh, the five lies that you could resell, you can resell, you can resell your Morzanite. And yes, that's true. You can't, you can't resell. You That's a lie. You really can't resell your Morzanite. You barely can resell your Nat, your diamond, <laughs> your natural diamond. If you just got like regular stones, you, 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 you can't resell that either so it, it really doesn't matter uh i mean you can resell you can sell anything on the street you can sell anything on the street but the problem comes in that okay let's say because somebody else the other youtuber said hey well you can sell it on ebay here's a, here's the here's the problem with that how much are you going to sell it for on ebay if you brought something for 500 dollars Who's gonna buy it for who's gonna buy it for four hundred when they could just go buy it for five hundred like you brought it? Makes no sense. Now you might be able to sell it for a hundred and fifty dollars. Yeah, somebody will buy that. Somebody will buy that. Unless you lie and say it's diamonds. Is is it's just no it's no resale value in Moisenite. It's barely a resale value in diamonds unless you have uh, a certified diamond, uh, a, a rare diamond, uh, and, and that's that's about it. So, but this has been my video, man. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment. Like I said, watch all the ads all the way through, please. Thank you, I appreciate you guys, man. And again, man, the link to Gus Villa's jewelry video will be in the description, and the link to the haters video, uh, the other guy, his video. <laughs> it might be in the description. I'm not too sure how I feel about that. But, thanks.